You're probably wondering why I'm sitting here on my couch playing video games when I should be out there exploring new roads and sharing my adventures and my experiences with you guys. Unfortunately, I have some very, very sad news. The McLaren is broken. There's a lot of content out there that shares what it's like to maintain a supercar, but no one really talks about what it's like to repair, especially when things go catastrophically wrong. So today I'm going to share what my experience has been like, as well as the whole repair process. But I don't want you guys to jump to conclusions and say, oh, all McLarens are unreliable. That's not the point of this video. And in fact, all marks, whether it's Ferrari, Lamborghini, Aston Martin, Maserati, they've all had their unique set of challenges and flaws. I was out for a fairly spirited drive that day, as I knew my season was rounding up and I'm going to make content for you guys. The car was operating flawlessly and there was no signs to foreshadow what would happen next. I park my car and give it some time to cool down. When I go to start it up again, I hear this really weird alarm noise, followed by a rough idle and the engine just shut off on its own. I take to the forums optimistic that there should be a simple solution to my problems. In fact, people have often attributed this issue to a faulty sensor. So I give McLaren a call and they suggest I send the car over for a thorough inspection, just to be sure. They send over a flatbed and the car is now with McLaren. The repair process now begins. So for two weeks, McLaren ran a series of tests to diagnose what the issue is. In fact, it isn't until they receive approval from the head office can they actually take apart the engine. McLaren then advised that it was a serious and substantial issue, which could take months to repair, approximately two months. Modern generation supercars are all covered by a three year factory warranty. So it is gonna be interesting to see how this all pans out. And oftentimes we forget how complicated these cars are. While they may be simple and practical to drive, the engineering that goes into them is certainly not. In fact, repairing this car is almost like performing surgery on a human being. All these tests, even listening to the heartbeat, or in this case, the engine of the car, to try and determine what the problem is. So what does that mean for us? Well, essentially my season has been cut down by a month, but I do have some interesting content that I'm gonna keep sharing with you guys. And that being said, I do also have a real special surprise for you guys, which is Top Gear in real life. And I'm really excited about this because the event's gonna be in California, which is gonna be a day on the track followed by a cruise through a national park. So hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy that. And it's gonna be a bit more raw and real time, so you guys can essentially come along with me. And back to the repair. So if you're interested to learn more about what's going on in my car, just let me know and I'll give you a few more updates as this progresses, hopefully. Until next time, take care.